Hello everyone, welcome to Wasting Academy's YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll be talking about the new recruitment opportunity, which has been released by National Small Industries Corporation Limited. Now, for this particular advertisement, we can go to nsic.co.in and uh, we can go to the careers and we can look out for the current vacancies. Now the vacancy which has been released, it is for E0 level for AM position and the online application link as well as the advertisement has been released over here. Now the advertisement number, as per the advertisement number, this is our advertisement, NSIC HR E0 AM, and it was released in the month of December. Now the small and uh, the National Small Industries Corporation Limited released, it's a mini Ratna PSU, um, released the positions for assistant manager E0 level, and the pay scale is uh, varying between 30,000 rupees to 1 lakh 20,000 rupees as per 7th pay commission. Now total number of vacancies which are released are 25 and uh, you can see the bifurcation of the number of vacancies as per the um, specific, specific cast. Uh, you can see for SC it is 4, for ST it is 2, OBC it is 5, AWS it is 2 and uh, 12 it is for unreserved category. Right after this qualification now four, four years of BTEC, either BE or BTEC degree is required. Minimum 60% marks with 5% relaxation for SC, ST and uh, physically handicapped students in the field of civil engineering, mechanical, chemical, electrical and electronics, electrical engineering, electronics and communication engineering and computer science engineering students. Also including information technology students as well. So IT students are also valid over here. Keep this in mind, this recruitment is with GATE score, right? So only GATE score will be valid over here and only GATE qualified candidates shall apply. Latest GATE score available, not older than two years. So this advertisement is being released in 2024, GATE 2024 GATE uh, result uh, as well as Gate 2023 will be applicable over here. Experience freshers can apply and upper age limit is 28 years for general category and there is age relaxation for SC, ST and OBC and PWD BD category as per all the government rules. Now this is very important. Last date of filling of online application is 27th of December 2024 and last date of online received submission uh, and of the printout of online filled application form, it is 3, uh, 3rd of January 2025. Now you can see the detailed guidelines as well regarding the selection process. Uh, they have elaborated the selection process in a very good detail. The selection process shall consist of 70% weightage given to the GATE score. So you can see in some of the PSUs, they will be giving preference to the GATE examination around 80 to 85% and 15% to the personal interview. Here only 70% is given weightage to the GATE examination and 30% to the personal interview is given. So personal interview weightage is substantially high. So you cannot ignore the aspect of personal interviews over here. In order to bring uh, parity with 70% weightage of written exam as per the policy, it shall be obtained by formulating 70% of gate marks scored by the candidate out of 100 in his or her gate scorecard. Now further, the gate exam should be in the same engineering stream for which the candidate has applied for. So qualifications have been mentioned previously. So your gate score should be in that domain. Now number of shortlisted candidates who will be called for interviews will be in the ratio of 1 by 7, 1 by 7. So you can see uh, the ratio of maximum of 1 is to 7 with respect to the number of posts advertised. So this ratio can range between for one position 5 to 7 student, 1 is to 5 to 1 is to 7. 5 to 7 students will be shortlisted for the interview. However, the management reserves the right. Obviously, this, this statement is written in each and every advertisement. They will tell us that obviously they can change this ratio and the number of seats as well up to their discretion it is. Um, after that, the decision of the management regarding eligibility 
interview and selection will be final and binding on the candidates and no corresponding whatsoever will be entertained in this regard so obviously it will be mentioned um after that compensation package already told you previously it will be ranging between 30000 to 120000 this is as per the government norms only it includes basic pay industrial da dnas allowance hra and various other uh, allowances like cafeteria pro cpf gratuity etc and this total accounts for 9.52 lakhs approximately after this the cor um, the corporation also has in place a policy related to the house building advance vehicle advance and everything this is a very good uh, allowance computer advance medical facilities for self and dependents under cafeteria approach and everything it is mentioned now how to apply as i told you we have to go to the website of uh, nsic you can go for nsic.co.in simple process it is and you can apply on the uh, link for applying that the online application link will be active from 7th of december now previously the link which was showing it is right now not active it will start on 7th of december please look into it now the application form filling it is in four stages stage 1 you have to fill in your normal details name email id email verification will be there basic details to be filled in and after that email id can be used for logging into uh, the system of the application form stage 2 is your up, you have to upload your copies of your aadhar card pan card passport size class 10 certificate mark sheets uh, gate score card for e for the year 2023 and 2024 as i told you previously after that caste certificates ews certificates if applicable and also the physically handicapped uh, certificate if you have that any other document with conversion of cgpa to respective percentage english hindi version of certificate in the regional language name change etc all of those certificates <clears throat> have to be uploaded after that you have to make the payment by neft uh, as applicable stage 3 is finally an application number for the post applied for will be issued to you which is to be kept for your future references and the application number and everything will be sent to your email id right so this is the process of application and the application fee uh, payment of application fee should be written somewhere over here only uh, maybe in some consecutive points it will be written so candidate should uh, ensure the following while filling up the online application form you can see the first name the middle name the surname surname and everything father's name shall be filled so you look out for this particular um, notification i'll attach this notification in the description box so that you can uh, watch it and look out for the details etc how to fill in your cgpa your name and everything i'll not go too much deep into it because it will bore you <laughs> over here so after this let's look at this form for obc and everything which you need to fill in now you can see the application fee is 1500 rupees per application has to be paid as per any ft uh, the, the account number ifsc code has been mentioned over here uh, the name and everything after that the address is also mentioned however no application fee for sc st pwbd women candidates and departmental candidates is there so there is no fees for them only for general and ews category and obc category the fees is applicable now the applications without the uh, without the application fees will be straight away rejected they have clearly mentioned over here now the last date of the receipt of print out of online application hard copy it is 3rd of january up to 6 pm so you can see that they have given a very detailed um notification regarding the uh, admission process and some other uh, faqs are also mentioned you can see now also one more important point the eligibility with respect to the upper age limit qualification experience will be determined uh, from the closing date of the submission of online application form so the upper age limit is with respect to only 27th of december this year that is your applicable age limit up until this date your age limit should be satisfied so this is a very important point to be noticed in this particular application form 
and others are also mentioned you can look out for this so it's a very good detailed information one of the best i have seen in the current times so nsic notification you can look out for the uh, for this on the official website or in the description box below so thank you for watching it's a wonderful opportunity do apply for this and keep on preparing for your gate examination which is going to be held in february thank you for watching